I'm Bruce Shady, and today we're going to take a look at a demonstration that was designed by Galileo to help define acceleration. It was his testing of ideas like this that led him to be called the father of modern science. Now we have built several tracks in the past, and I like them all, but this one's actually one of my favorites. Here's some of the other tracks we've built. I'll put links to them down in the comments below. This piece has two identical tracks. I can release the balls at any location and they'll still reach the bottom together. This track helped Galileo design the idea of inertia. There are several varieties of high-low tracks. Here's one of them. I've tried adding humps to the tracks. I've also made them larger. And here's a track that helps explain pendulums. All these pieces were influenced by the work of Galileo. Now Galileo easily could have had a wooden track made that a metal ball could roll down it. His problem, however, would have been trying to time it. Since stopwatches weren't available, Galileo would have had to figure out other ways to time his experiments, such as using his pulse, Three, two, one. perhaps using a pendulum, Another possibility is he could have used a stream of water. Start, stop. The amount of captured water could be measured as a passage of time. I want to start this experiment by dividing the track into five equal parts, and each segment is going to be 28 inches long. I've angled the track so it takes about five seconds for the ball to reach the bottom. We're going to start by measuring the bottom segment for time using that water clock. Here's our first measurement. Now we'll measure it for twice as far. Due to that it's accelerating, it's not quite twice the time. Here's a measurement for three times the distance, four times the distance, and here's the whole distance. So while the distance between each release was the same, we can see the time gap gets shorter as the ball picks up speed going down the track. I tested each position several times and found I got pretty good results. Now another way we can demonstrate this is to put bells equal distance along the track. Once again, it's the same 28 inches in between each mark. As the ball rolls down, we can listen to the intervals in between each ring. You can hear that the rings get closer as the ball speeds up. We'll try it again with the ramp steeper. With these types of measurements, Galileo determined that when a ball is released from the same point, the distance it travels will be proportional to the square of the time. So if the time is doubled, it travels four times further. If the time is tripled, it travels nine times further. This proportion continues for any object under constant acceleration. The behavior follows this formula. With the track at the original angle, for the first second, the ball is going to travel five inches. In two seconds, it's going to go four times further, or 20 inches. In three seconds, it's going nine times further, or 45 inches. In 4 seconds, it's going 16 times further, or 80 inches. And finally, the whole track will take 5 seconds. The ball will go 25 times further than it did in the first second, which is 125 inches. So now we have the distances stretched out, but the time in between each mark is the same. <laughs> so now if we put the valves back on, if I roll the ball down the ramp, we should hear equal intervals in between each ring. Now if I have this set up right, it should be about one second in between each location. Now let's give it a try. That 
Let's go back and listen to the equal distances where we hear the time intervals speed up. And here again is where the Three, times are two, equal. One. Try it again with the ramp steeper. Steeper yet for the equal distances. Compare it to the equal times. Three, Let's go higher yet three, for equal two, distances. One. And once Much again, more higher equal yet. times. pretty amazing what Galileo was able to accomplish considering what he had to work with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Okay, bye.